Welcome to the Empower Me Show with Pam Bright. This show is all about honoring you as a spiritual being, having a human experience. You are here for a reason, and it's no mistake that you are here on earth right now. Spirit has guided you to this very moment in time, so you could hear the messages Pam is about to share with you. She is a multidimensional healer, light language channel, transformation coach, wife and mother committed to helping you discover the tools and practices to empower you to live the best life you can. You get to choose the spirit path you take. You can connect to the spiritual guidance already all around you. Get ready to live a fully empowered life. This is the Empower Me Show. Welcome back to the Empower Me Show with Pam Bright. My name is Pam Bright. I'm your hostess for today. And I am so happy to be joined by my mentor and friend, Brian Rawls. He is going to be sharing with you his experience of light language or language of light. They're intertwined as a name. Uh, some people call it angelic song. Others call it um, galactic uh, language. Whatever you call it is, this is this show for that purpose. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Brian and my experience of how we met. And then he and I are going to do a, an activation and a grounding for you uh, so that you can really be centered in this now moment. So Brian was on a radio show similar to this and I listened in, um, I, it might've even been a Laura Canfield where you recently were with um, cause I had been following her for a while, but I, anyway, I heard him on the radio and I was so excited because it was another language of light practitioner. And I had just recently been introduced to light language a few years before that. And that night after his, um, conversation with this talk show host, um, I had a dream about him. <laughs> And I was like, I woke up at, in the morning and realized that he, that I had had a dream about him. And I went, you know what? I think he was working on me all night. That was really exciting for me because I'd never had that kind of experience before. And I immediately knew that I had to get a hold of him and really have a conversation and set up a session. And so I immediately did that. And our first conversation, I heard myself tell Brian that I wanted to work with him and I had no idea what that meant. And I really didn't know what it looked like. And it was interesting because he didn't really either, but he was open to whatever spirit wanted to happen, which is really my message for all of my programs is get connected to spirit whatever that looks like for you, and you will be guided in every moment. So with that guidance, uh, we started talking and what got, what happened, what got birthed from that conversation was my apprenticing with him. And this was the very first, um, I believe the first time that Brian had ever done that. And it was definitely the first time I had ever apprenticed with anyone. So it began this very long journey, a wonderful journey of learning from Brian, everything that he had been given in his lifetime and many lifetimes before that for um, his gifts of spirituality in this lifetime. So Brian, are you ready to do an activation with me so that we can get folks grounded into this amazing conversation with us today. Of course, I am okay. always ready. Wonderful. So I will start and then it will flow naturally. And uh, everyone who is listening, just go ahead and really take this time to disconnect from all of the stuff from the world that you've been involved with, whether it's work or 
or pressure or conversations with loved ones or family or anything other than this now moment. So if you're in a place where you can close your eyes safely and just go within, and I'm gonna do a little prayer and then I'm gonna open up to some light language and I'll invite Brian in to also assist with that. And we'll just both get you into this moment of male and female energies combined to experience all of who you are. So creator of all that is, the one who lives and breathes within all things. I thank you for my life. I thank you for Brian's life. I thank you for this amazing opportunity to ground in the next level of spirituality and privilege and honor of being human on this planet. And we ask now that all of our guides, teachers, and angels come forward to assist in this wonderful experience and adventure of being spirit in form. And we ask that all of them surround us with their angelic guidance and the light beings come forward now to assist in whatever information and coding is ready to be brought forth. Ela taraki anaki sanaye anasena na wa i ababe yuwa ke utu ena na ina 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 esa Brian ayaye. Dotokratukumanonosetoroshotekemorokore <laughs> Vindur minwa, baduku uje tia pata ara ete tia, vera bede eduku udiki hetere ba et kota kashatur. Rene kiwata pura eta sit, vera pata ara eshat kimene. No yes, te ikiti na bekiti ibu. Sante kina ya kareyi anawe ena. And so it is. So Brian, tell me a little bit about you and your history. Where did you come from? How much long have you been doing this work? All of that good stuff. Um, my family comes from um, basically all around, but all, um, but mainly our energies are Romanian, uh, English, Dutch, and, and Cherokee. And these uh, energies have privileged me to basically search my energies back uh, to the 1400s and come to find out my family uh, has had many women that were healers and, um, and uh, spirit workers and uh, magical practitioners and uh, studiers of nature, uh, natural religion or nature religions, um, even nature spirituality. Um, my grandmother, um, her name was Georgia. She, uh, she took care of me a lot and taught me her ways of the trade, uh, which is traditional witchcraft, as well as also uh, hoodoo. And, um, and hoodoo is just basically Southern Baptist Bible magic. And basically with that, uh, it had um, melded me to also uh, look to my aunt for uh, for answers and whatnot. Also, um, questioned my mother a lot with uh, with history about the family and whatnot. And she told me uh, my mother told me about her dreams and whatnot and uh, her prophetic dreams. And 
my aunt, uh, my aunt taught me a lot about crystals and how uh, how crystals were um, were of the earth and helped with um, with opening up to our spiritual awakening. And then um, about I would say every morning for probably about a good uh, good six months. I would have to sit at the uh, at the breakfast table, and basically, my grandmother would hold up a tarot card, and I had to tell her what that tarot card meant before I could get up and go to school. <laughs> and if I did not um, did not tell her right, or if I did not tell her correctly, she would not let me get up, and eventually would take me to school herself and tell the teacher why I was late. So basically that went on for about a good six months and then went to herbal magic and herbs, learning about them and all of her tricks of the trade. And then we, uh, and then I started uh, basically, um, well, I sat on her lap when I was a child uh, and watched her do readings, which basically made me want to do readings. So I uh, got my first uh, deck of uh, tarot cards, I think, when I was about, I would say, nine or ten. And um, and basically after that, what happened was uh, she allowed me to have some of her clients, and then she started getting sick. And as she got sick, uh, basically... Uh, that's when I took over her clients and also took over taking care of her and whatnot. And then uh, I basically was uh, uh, was subject to doing this uh, as a part-time job along with nursing. And then after nursing, uh, what happened was basically uh, I took the call for spirit to uh, for me to do this full time, and I've been doing this full time for now um, now about since 2012 full time. But I've been doing this since um, since I was about 16, so about 22 years. Woohoo! So, That's great. So wow. we're going to, we're about to take a break. Okay. Um, but when we come back, um, I'm going to ask you my signature question, which I okay. ask everyone, you can think about this uh, on the break, which is what does it mean to you to be a spiritual being having a human experience? And we definitely want to hear that from you as well as we're going to take some calls or, and hear some from, from some folks in the chat, hopefully. The number to call in if you're interested is 1-800-930-2819. And we'll have that up on the screen. And everyone who calls in, please give us an email so that we can send you the free gift that Brian has for you. Um, and we then can follow up after the show as well to you know, answer any questions that you have, offer you any extra services, that type of thing. So we're going to take a break. And when we come back, we'll talk more with Brian Rawls. I have my special guest, Brian Rawls. Dals D D what's your last, what's Rawl Brian Rawls uh, with me? <laughs> yeah. And um, so Brian, I asked you a question before our break, which is, what does it mean for you to be a spiritual being having a human experience? Well, um, being a spiritual being having a human experience is very enlightening and awakening uh, at the same time because the energy is so intense being in a physical body that I like to pop out every now and then and go wander because we are allowed to do that because we have that cord that keeps us attached to our body so we do not lose it. So it's interesting how we can, uh, how we can basically be 
who we want to be on the inside and allow for that to radiate out. Absolutely. Yes, it does. So it's like awakening to the spirit within. Yes. Yes, yes absolutely. So um, tell me, Brian, what your understanding of the, what I call the divine reset. What would you say is going on with that? And when do you think it actually started for us? Okay, so the divine reset started actually uh, when, um, when Sahara came in. So we have Akash, Sahara, Nasira, um, uh, Nasira, Polaris, and then Shayata, and then Anavia coming in on December 22nd, uh, 21st of 2021. These are, uh, these are going to be eventually 12 divine divas that are governing, uh, govern, governing the divine feminine principle uh, around planet Earth, uh, which uh, they, these particular beings are uh, basically books, uh, or for lack of a better understanding, they are, um, there are frequencies of energy that allow us to awaken and awaken appropriately for that particular time period because each time period has a specific frequency that goes with it. Like uh, the past six months, the past six months was a big emotional reset, okay? Mm -hmm. So this upcoming um, six months to December 21st of 2021 is actually um, a spiritual awakening, okay? So this basically uh, awakens those folks that are not awakened for, uh, already, all right? right? And then also allows for those energies to be more... Um, more fluid or have more fluidity to them uh so basically that's a little bit about um uh the divine reset and it actually started right around 2016. okay, okay great so we do have somebody that is on the line um okay. and um i'm sure that he would love to hear a message from you to him his name is bobby i understand is that correct Yep, this is Bobby out of Florida. Here we go, Bobby. Hello, Bobby. How are you? Hey, it's Bobby. How you doing? Hey, I'm sweetheart. Doing great. I love. Hey, Pam. I love this light language stuff. It is so awesome and it is so cool. Wonderful. So, what's your question, Bobby? Uh, my question is, I was hoping to get a light language uh, blessing. We've got. Hopefully it won't be too bad, but we have a, a tropical storm that's going to be coming by us tomorrow night, and I'm just just wanting a little light language blessing of peace and also just, you know, just to be more grounded in my light language. I've had uh, uh, Pam activated in, me, in the, the light language in me on May 11th, and so this Sunday will be two months since I've had it. Oh, so I wonderful. just want to get more into that as well. Okay. Well, um, first off, I want to tell you a little bit about um, uh, the storm that's coming so you can have some protection to cut the winds. What you can do is you can go outside with a knife. You can use a butter knife. You can use a, uh, a real knife. And I want you to throw it in the four directions, and that will cut the winds and cut the seeds of the wind. All right? And that will show protection around you. So... Um, I don't know exactly how Pam wants to do this light language blessing, but I think we might uh, tag team it. Uh, I think that's that'd what be I'm great. Doing. Yeah, good. So how would you like to start, Pam? Would you like me to start first or, her, uh, or you? So I think that you have already set it up. So um, he deals, um, Bobby deals with hurricanes as well as big storms. So that energy is something if Bobby could maybe you can t share a little bit about what you've been experiencing with the the different elements that that are part of your team okay 
the uh, I know the wind, the wind and the thunder and the lightning are part of my team, and and uh, yes. and I, I think you know the biggest the biggest part of my team is probably uh, Rosette and also Bodhi Tree. Bodhi Tree's been a safe haven for me when we get storms. I just I see myself going inside the Bodhi Tree for safety and my team surrounds me and holds okay. me. So what I want you to do, Bobby, is I want and you to touch I, your I have go uh, uh, yeah. Go ahead, Brian. Okay, so Bobby, just go ahead and place your feet flat on the floor. And I want you to raise your hands either like this or like this, like you're receiving grace. And just allow for the energy to flow. And you're going to hear some uh, some tones coming from the drum or the frame drum and then also from my voice. Ito poku kotahara te kelo kuto poku resh tu makatakias. Ze poku to poku re na ahri te imuno o kotelo pa papaya te kias tai. Rino moko te loku re kata hash kutaremini. Rine is the asare ne moku to pori ishta manuoi. Ratelas ve la poku to poku na daya la pehelesh. Read ud ar it em ukutahar it em monokus. Ze damba hot ele per roti hene kiapa kwashtai. Rokotekos hat sasti an nanar it epokutu ut. Di Buddha da hadadene et dor it of the bokut. Jandola pokatayat. Zindele hede holok ut amaraya do deshti di atanamene kit amana at ayatu urish. Ritu manas. It it ut ad e du tadai gita pa e kunana e su tare wa e wa ya wa e u na na ya wa e wa ne u a ya wa e wa 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 e La crea satura et a pata no sukura et the an. Okay. So, Bobby, uh, I want to let you know that you have a gnome uh, energy with you. This is a, uh, a very earth elemental energy. Um, you need to understand that he is coming in from the from your right side but my left okay so your right side he's coming in on your right side my left and he's a little short stature feller uh, but his name starts with a T and a T okay yeah, a P. I'm not getting anything as far as like the rest of it, but it starts with a P. Uh, but maybe Pam has something um, that she can uh, give you. But definitely start uh, connecting with this gnome because this is a particular spirit that uh, will help you uh, communicate as well as also uh, work with the elemental energies around you. I'm hearing poi. <laughs> I think I'm getting. You're getting something too. I'm getting you? Ted. Okay. I'm getting so, Ted. All right. So you are connected as well, Bobby, and we and I know this about you. So just connect in after this call. Just connect in with the guidance that you know you are connected to, and ask because your intention is everything. So when you are happy have your intention for knowing that's where you really get hooked in with that and you will be given exactly what you need when you need it so i want to make sure bobby that you know about um brian's gift that he is giving uh, brian can you tell bobby a little bit about what you're going to be sending him 
I'm actually going to be sending you an activation that will uh, that will help and guide you through the next um, six months, as well as also help you uh, begin to start downloading and uploading your light codes, um, basically on your own, so you can kind of kind of call them in because uh, I believe as if everybody is entitled to this ability to do so. Perfect, wonderful. Cool. So, so Bobby, you gave your contact information to our, our producer, Edveen? Yes, I did. Wonderful, yes, perfect. So we'll get that yes, information gift to you. We'll get that sent out to you. And thank you very much for calling. And uh, keep in mind that our services, you, both, Brian, you, Brian. And, both well, Brian and I are available for services anytime. You just need to schedule that with one of us. And we're gonna take another break here, but if you wanna call in anybody, um, the number is 1-800-930-2819. And we're gonna be right back. We're gonna talk about the Divine Divas some more. Welcome back. You're listening to the Empower Me Show with Pam Bright, and I have my special guest, Brian Rawls, with me. I'm so glad you're here, honey. Um, I call him honey just because we've known each other for so long, and he is my sweet, sweet friend and, um, and my mentor, and I'm so thrilled and honored that you're here, Brian. So tell us about your knowledge of these beautiful divine divas that you have been uh, connecting with for the last what 10 years five years whatever years Six and years. what yeah who are they and what messages do they have for us now as well as whatever you're getting about them in the future so these beings are they are feminine energies and each of them has had um a an animalistic type of energy to them. Sahara was a lioness. Nasir was a panther energy. And um, Polaris had a, a very segment type energy. And then it started getting very humanized because uh, there's energy that is getting ready to change for us in a very drastic way to where not only are the uh, the folks that were not awake are going to be waking up, but uh, we are all going to be shifting into that um, into that um, that third helix of our DNA. Uh, because we only have we have two helixes that are in power at the moment, but we are also getting ready to start activating that third helix to our DNA, and that third helix allows for it to be a super DNA helix, which basically brings in and turns on more codons and more memories and more energies of our uh, soul's existence. Our soul has originated in, uh, in many different galaxies, many different stars, many different planets, many different uh, solar systems, okay? Uh, even also on many different planets. So we haven't just uh, originated from this planet, but we've also originated from other planets that allows for us to really be open to experience and really finding out what we what we need to awaken into um into our into our um our most powerful self more like so basically with that what they are showing me here is that they are keepers of light frequency and as they are keepers of light frequency they are downloading us with photons and these particular photons, as they turn on, what happens is they will uh, they will activate more of us uh, at uh, at more of like a face value for what we are uh, what we know our spirits work. 
You understand what I'm saying? That there's a there's a there's many belief systems and values that are uh, currently uh, being cleared from us so that we can start walking in our truth and being who we really are because we are multidimensional beings. We are not beings uh, bound by 3D, all right? Because you understand that the 3D is a matrix. 3D is a matrix that is bound by laws, by universal laws. And when we, um, when we take in the power and take in the energy of the divine divas, what happens is we are not bound by those laws because we are in creator's energy, creator, uh, creator source energy, the seventh plane of existence. That seventh plane of existence allows for us not to be bound by those laws, not to be bound by the law of time, not to be bound by the law of, uh, law, uh, the law of cause and effect, not being um, uh, bound by the law of truth or uh, the law of um, divine oneness, all right? So we are not bound by these particular laws, so we are able to um, flourish more uh, for um, what we are as a spirit and what we are as a human, okay? Because 90% uh, of um, the human population, I almost guarantee you that 90% of them are hybrids, okay? Hmm. And that is, um, and that's truth right there. Now, can okay. you explain what you mean by hybrid truth. for those that don't understand that? Hybrid is, <clears throat> hybridized beings are beings with, that are actually carrying extraterrestrial blood in their blood lines, okay? In their veins, they are actually carrying this in their veins, okay? So, uh, I'm one of them. I'm actually a hybrid being. Um, Pam is a hybrid. Um, David, uh, David, David is actually a hybrid, uh, hybrid by two specific uh, beings, and Pam is actually a hybrid by four specific um, originations. So uh, that right there, what I mean by is they can be Syrian, they can be Pleiades. They can be Orion, they can be Lyran, they can be uh, Cassiopeian, they can be um, uh, Pluxian, they can be um, uh, Procyons. I mean, the origins are endless. And that, is, that seven of them that I just spoke there, uh, that's just skimming the surface. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So there are tons and tons and tons of stars out there that we have originated from that has more capabilities than what uh, the natural human here on planet Earth has. Okay, so uh, reach out, connect to the stars. Don't limit yourself by these dumb laws that we have here in the 3D, <laughs> because we as humans, we as <clears throat> the gritters of humanity, we we open up to uh, to ways of creative expression as uh, as a hybrid. Yeah. So maybe what I'm getting that would be helpful um, because some of these terms may be new to some of the listeners. Um, my understanding of what's coming in now is that many of us are holding a lot of karma that we came in with. So maybe it would be helpful to do a little bit of releasing right now okay. to release some of that so that people can be more open and willing to receive the codes that are coming in for us to assist ourselves in at the moment. How does that sound? Yes, that sounds sad. That sounds okay, awesome. Sad. Awesome. Cool. So we're just going to tag team again, um, this light language for you folks and know that whatever we're, we're channeling in for you is to help you release anything that no longer serves you at the moment. Okay. And this is not a one-time process. This is something that can happen multiple times over and over again in order for you to really be receptive to what 
is new for you. So Brian and I are gonna do that for you now and know that both of us um, for the services that we provide can assist you in this process on a regular basis. And you can just schedule with us for that after this show. But for now, just go ahead and allow yourselves to receive the energies that are, that are being ready to be released. And we're gonna connect in with your soul, any of you who are listening now, and know that those things that are being channeled are going to release out anything that you no longer need right now. Take a deep breath in, connect with the life force. So in the middle of your body, connected to your spine, is what we call the pillar of light, or also called the uh, divine column. <laughs> Uh, in the spine, your central nervous system connects in with this rod of energy or this light pillar, column of light. And I want you all now to connect in with that. It looks similar to this selenite wand that I have here. Just imagine that as light and it's expanding in your body and expanding light all through you now. And we bring in whatever divine divas, our energies are ready for you to receive right now. And Brian, you may know what that energy is that wants to come in right now that will be appropriate for us to receive in this moment. So the divine diva that is stepping forth is actually two of them and it is the uh one that is in power now and the one that is getting ready to step into power on December 21st. And that is Shayata and Anag or Anavia or Anavia. Okay. These two particular beings, one is a galactic shaman and the other one is actually, she hasn't let me know yet. So, um, so what we're going to do is we are going to bring in these two particular energies uh, to better um, acquaint your energy as well as also download and bring in their energies for you. So I call upon Mother, Father, God, my guides, the Ascended Masters, and all the beings of light from on high. Call in Shayata Wind and Anavia. Shayata winds and Anavia, we call upon you now. Step forth into this energy field. Step forth into this circle and circle all participants or all who listen to this recording or to this live show. I ask that you download into their eight cell blueprint. That's perineum. Take deep breaths in. Ala poturi ishkotara hawa atakasi amene ele kura okuti kim mene la kotki ish. Demboa ta re in esti si tiamono or ekopataka ash. Belo kure mena ak. De hele siosion do ma ak ayeshtiki. 
una akat kubarakata irtisid menukut in eshta atki. Velo ut amalana sisi delo kutaka ashtu menaki or emakutaka sawa. We thank these divine divas for stepping forward now. And we ask that you work with all of the beings that are ready and open and willing to receive you into their eight cell blueprint, into their souls, into their light bodies. And we ask that to start working with all of the body system, all of the different systems within each body. Etaraki akeru naneru naneru nane moa moa esu o o te kuku taki kade kumba. And we also ask the angelic presences to really create a wonderful foundation for those that are listening for their next steps into their future selves from this day forward, and so it is. So it so we're, is. we're gonna take another break. It's the last one that we're gonna take, and then we're gonna just wind it up and, and bring it down to a place of quiet. Um, and think about, Brian, how you'd like to um, assist those with a very quick, you know, just maybe couple step process when we come back of aligning people to who they are and what their life is about for for the from here forward so we'll be back in a couple minutes welcome back to the empower me show with pam bright i am here with my dear friend and mentor brian rawls and Brian, I want you to please share with the listeners a quick way that they can align their energies, um, especially when they're a little out of sorts and they just really want to do a quick one-two kind of thing. Okay, so it's very easy, very simple. Remember our bodies uh, respond, and our bodies and soul respond to sound and language and our voice. So what you need to do is just make sure that your feet are flat on the floor and basically you uh, you make sure that you take a deep breath in to center yourself and gather all your energy back for a moment, bring it into the heart space, connect with the life force energy of Mother Earth and basically command creator of all that is, it is commanded that I be taken to the seventh plane of existence. Thank you, it is done, it is done, it is done, and so it is. And then feel that energy just drift up and you'll instantly shoot up to seventh plane and you'll go probably past uh, lights and stuff, a white light, a blue light, um, a pink light, a green light, <clears throat> and then the, kind of like a jelly-like substance. Those are the laws. And then you'll go straight past that jelly-like substance and you go straight to the bright white light, almost like a rectangle looking. And you'll shoot through that, uh, that entrance and it will be basically um, the seventh plane of existence. As you're in the seventh plane of existence, you're not bound by laws. You are not bound by time. You are not bound by the law of cause and effect. So enjoy your moments there. Enjoy your alignment there. Enjoy your balance there. Because that's really what the seventh plane of existence is all about. That's also where, play, uh, where instantaneous healings happen. So anything can happen while you're in the seventh plane of existence. I recommend that you uh, ask to be in the seventh plane of existence at least twice a day, once in the morning uh, when you wake up and once before you go to bed at night. And I always do that. And I find it very, uh, very awakening, very expansion or expansive and very um, uh, light receiving. So Perfect. Um, I hope that helps you. Thank and you very much. There you go. 
So yes, so those of you who work with me with, around a spirit team, that's also a great time to connect in with your spirit team. Whatever your spirit team looks like or sounds like or you connect with, um, connect with that as well because that will get you all hooked up. Um, I do something called the daily hookup that I've talked a little bit about in my program, the full body wellness system program. Um, Brian, how can people contact you if they want to work with you and get services? So you can all contact me at my website at www.amagicaljourney.com. That is A-M-A-G-I-C-K-A-L-J-O-U-R-N-E-Y.com. You can also call my office at 586-659-9620. You can also email me at angelicguidance13 at gmail.com. And I'll be more than happy to assist you. Also go to my uh, website and sign up for um, updates and um, new email um, advertisements and all new subscribers will receive a free 10 minute reading with me uh, attached to a current reading that you have or that you, uh, you can redeem by itself. So mm -hmm. any new subscribers will get something from me too. Awesome. I'm so happy that you've been here. What a wonderful, wonderful time. And I yes, can't wait until you come back. <laughs> yes, so, I will so be next, more than happy to come back. Yes. So next month on um, the Language of Light episode, we're going to have another special guest. Her name is Lola Singer. And she does other forms of light language. Um, she's a singer as well as a, as a speaker. And she does wonderful artwork with light language. So I'm excited to have her. Next week, I'm gonna have my dear friend, Natasha, who is, um, she calls herself a, a, a everyday modern witch. And she is going to bring in the first of the four uh, elemental um, energies of air. She's gonna bring air in. And we're gonna talk about the cosmos and all kinds of great stuff. So you can contact me at the empower me show at gmail.com or go to brightbutterflyenterprises.com. We are so thrilled that you're here and that you shared your life with us. As always, be true to who you are and love you, love you, love you. Thank you, Brian, for being here. And we look forward to our for connection <laughs> next time. From me and the Empower Me show with Pam Bright. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day. Thank you for listening to the Empower Me show with Pam Bright on Transformation Talk Radio. Tune in every Monday at 3 p.m. to learn more about living a fully empowered life. Remember that your life is up to you and you can choose the spiritual path you are on. There is spiritual energy and wisdom in everything and everyone around you. Listen carefully for what the universe is trying to tell you in every moment. You are already being guided along your journey. Call upon your spirit guides anytime you need help with anything. Know that you are safe in every moment, even if it seems that you are not. For more information about Pam Bright, visit brightbutterflyenterprises.com or email the empower me show at gmail.com. Thank you very much for listening. We hope to see you next week.